what have I learned about Down syndrome? I've learned that what I knew before was wrong. My sisters always wake me up at five o'clock in the morning. They're quite cute. They're a bit annoying. The fact that they're twins makes everything hard work. There's just nothing in the world that could convince me to change them to. More? Go on then. More higher? Okay, go on then. Oh! oh. <laughs> the odds of having identical twins with Down syndrome are one in a million. Abigail and Isabel's diagnosis has been life-changing for the Parry family, but not in the way that some might presume. The girls have brought us together massively as a unit, but also made us appreciate the here and now. Can I use the green, Abby? Yeah. Uh, where's the green? Down syndrome means I have to help my sisters a bit more than if I if, than if I had sisters with not Down syndrome because they would be able to learn quicker than my sisters. So with Down syndrome, it's a bit harder. Is it a good number four? Can you do me a number three? I'm doing As well as physical characteristics, Down syndrome causes varying degrees of learning difficulties. But life expectancy is fast catching up with people who don't have the condition. The Parrys were not aware of the diagnosis until the twins were a few weeks old. I don't think any of us will ever uh, forget that day. The whole world had ended. Our life was not how we'd planned it. When the doctor took us to one side to give us the results, the one thing he said to us was that he was sorry that Abigail and Isabel both had Down syndrome. And to this day, I'll never know what he was sorry for. And I think if I could ever meet him again, I'd like to show him Abigail and Isabel and kind of say, you know, why did you say sorry? Because you know, we wouldn't change Abigail and Isabel for the world now. The genetic condition is caused by an extra copy of chromosome 21. Tests during pregnancy can indicate the likelihood of having Down syndrome, after which parents can choose termination. The amount of people that have openly admitted to us that they thought that they perhaps wouldn't go through with a pregnancy if they knew that their child had Down syndrome. And now they would look at that differently because they've seen that there is nothing to be scared of because they make everybody laugh, they make everybody smile. So I just think it's just lack of education. And I think also lack of education from the professionals as well as a big impact, like the doctor saying to us he was sorry. I don't care biologically about the girls. I don't care how many chromosomes they've got. I was more interested, will they walk, will they talk, will they interact? Now five years old, the girls are flourishing in mainstream school. I said from the day dot that we weren't just going to fester as a family and wait for things to happen. Their progress will be slower, but we will still set them goals. We will still push them to achieve. Inspired by their one in a million twins, the Parrys set up a charity with a very special name. So we went with Twincess because obviously they're twins and princesses. It's a celebration of Down Syndrome and it's just to kind of dispel any myths that come with Down Syndrome. I'm not going to say we've got great expectations and you know we think they'll be the first person with Down Syndrome to be a chartered accountant or anything like that. I'm enjoying my life far, far too much to think about hurdles. As a hurdle appears, we'll deal with it. But at this time, I'm just living for today. Mummy, you cuddle. Oh. 
the one thing I've learned about Down syndrome is that life with Down syndrome is a life worth living. But now, there's just nothing in the world that could convince me to change them to. I just wouldn't change them for the world. My life wouldn't be the same without them. 